Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 5 of my Building a Nation Challenge series here on Football Manager 2020 as we are managing not just Mumbai City FC but also the Indian national team and we have got just the one game for you today as we take on Guwahati in the league. But we have also got big transfer news. We have played a few games with the national team as well. So I'll catch you up on all that right now. Let's go and have a look first at the transfer news. And it is some pretty big news. We have had not one, not two, but three players leave the club. The first of those to leave the club is Bipin Singh. He has left us for Rangdalajad United. And as you can see, he is only one star current, one star potential ability. He only played, what, five times for us? Got an average rating of 6.5, no goals, no assists. So I was very happy to get him off the books for £1,000. Very happy with that deal. And then another one I was happy with, who has gone to the same team as well, is Kunal Sawant, our backup keeper, 33 years old, only rated 7 by our scouts. So he was never ever going to get anywhere near our team. And so, yep, never played for us. So, very good to get him off the books. But, our main striker has left the football club. Amin Chermiti, four and a half star current ability. 86 rated by our scouts. He looks very good there. And he was very good. I didn't want to get rid of him. But, he came to me saying he was getting homesick. So, I tried talking him into staying. But... He wasn't having it, so we have had to let him go. He was starting quite well for us. He had nine games and four goals, so he was doing well. But, yep, he wanted to leave. But I'm not that worried. I'm not that worried about it because we have used our link with Manchester City to get in a right good youngster. Let's have a look at him. Aminu Mohamed, he's Ghanaian. Oh, Ghanaian? I think that's how you say it. Ghanaian? What on earth is that? That's terrible English, bad jokes. But yeah, he's from Ghana. 19 years old. Four and a half star current and potential ability. 92 rated by our scouts and our coaches. And yep, we are paying absolutely nothing for him. We have got him for absolutely free. He looks as good as... As Chermiti, maybe not as good mentally, but definitely technically and definitely, definitely physically. So I'm very happy with that deal to bring him in. Hopefully he can get quite a few goals for us this season. And he can help us push up the league a little bit. Because if we have a look at the results since we was last together, we have only played the three games, only two in the league. We have lost to East Bengal 2-0. Very disappointing result there. We've lost 1-0 to Goa. But we have come over the banana skin that was Fateh Hyderabad. So we've got past them in the Hero Super Cup. Not quite sure what that competition is. Is that the equivalent of the FA Cup? If you know, let me know down below. But yep, yeah, those are the only games we've played for Mumbai. And yeah, it's not been brilliant. And as well as that, in the national team as well, it's not been brilliant either. The last game you saw was the Saudi Arabia one. We lost that one 3-0. We then went and lost to Kuwait 3-1. Very disappointing result there. We were 3-0 down at half time. And things have not got better since... We've lost 2-1 to Tajikistan. An unbelievable late goal. Let's see if the game will let me show you it. It's Chakalov with the ball. He went to Umbarev and what a goal that was. Absolutely destroyed me. We lost 2-1 to Tajikistan. 
very poor result there. And as well as that, we also had a 1-1 draw versus Cambodia. They took the lead early in the game, um, but we thankfully equalised in the second half to avoid yet another disappointing, embarrassing result. And so what that all means for the Indian national team is that we are now ranked 104th in the world. It is India's lowest world ranking ever. Just look at that. You can tell when I took over, can't you, boys? Uh, wowzers. Oh, well, let's get into the team for today's game for Mumbai as we take on... Who is it we're playing again? Guwati. That's who we're playing. And so, let's go and have a look at the team. We have got Amrinder Singh in goal. Bose at left-back. Jingen and Gurdjieff are still in at centre-back. Galoy is our right-back for the game today. Diego Carlos is an inverted winger on the left-hand side. We have had a few transfer offers for him, but we have rejected them all. And then in the middle, it's Rainier Fernandez alongside Borges. And on the right, it's Daxina Murphy. And then up front, it is Mohamed Labi with our new, hopefully, star striker, Mohamed. Hopefully, this can be the team to get us a win, to start pronounce, start moving us up the top of the league. Because as you can see, we're eighth in the table. We are two points behind today's opponents. So a win there could hopefully see us go above them. And so, yep, yeah, hopefully that's what we're going to get. I'll be back with you guys when we're in the dressing room. So here we are in the dressing room. Let's go and see what our assistant's going to do. Absolutely nothing because he's a lazy git. And so let's go into the team talk. It's time to put an end to this poor runner form. No reaction. Come on. Here we go. A few are motivated there. Nobody there though. Wow, only four players are motivated. That does not bode well for this game. Prediction time. 1-0. 1-0 to us. A dodgy, nervy 1-0 win is what I'm predicting. Come on, Mumbai. 13 minutes into the game. It's their keeper clearing the ball. But we nod it forward, but they get it back again. Uh, Muana with the ball there goes to hearings and we try to nod it on and Azamara Gian I was warned about him in the tunnel and thankfully Amrinder Singh has got the save there that is indeed the same Azamara Gian who was at Sunderland a few years ago and did absolutely rubbish he's apparently been banging the goals in for Guati here and we survived that corner ball and now, immediately following that, we're trying to keep the ball, but we can't even pass it between two men. Gian with the ball into Chavez. Chavez is coming through. He's into the box, and Amrinder Singh thankfully makes the save there. And now it's going to be Chavez to take the corner himself. It's an outswinger. He crosses it in, and we get it away, but only as far as Tiang. Can we please win this ball back? Yes, we do. Ball just clears it long, but nothing happens on our side. Oh, one last highlight before the half-time whistle. It's us with the ball. Galoy goes through to Borges, to Daxina Murphy. Can he play it inside? It goes back to Borges, who goes to Fernandez, who goes over the top. Mohamed in, using his pace. He's in behind the defence. He's onside. He's gone for the shot, and Theo with the save. But it's gone out for a corner ball. We are going to have enough time to take it. Can we do anything with this? Diego Carlos, the Brazilian, whips it in and Hearings heads it away. And they clear it. And that should be half time, you would imagine. Bows with the ball. And yep, that is half time indeed. They have had eight shots, two are six. Six on target, they've had two are four. One clear-cut chance apiece. We've had 53% of the ball compared to their 47. So it's been a very even game. But I think I am going to go 4-2-3-1. Try and match up the formation Guati are going with. 
and Dax and Murphy put him back to a normal winger on attack. And I think leave it like that. Maybe put Larby as a shadow striker. Yeah, I think go for that. And then hopefully might be able to get something out of this second half. Let's go assertive. Uh, it's time for everyone to dig in or you've been unlucky. You've been unlucky. A few people are motivated. I have faith. Gotta have faith. Faith for faith. Gotta have faith for faith for faith. And so motivated is one, two, three people. One is happy. Two more motivated. That's five. Uh, five motivated. One happy. Come on, lads. Get us a winner in the second half. What is that? A minute into the second half, we have the ball. Mohamed has it. Can he beat a man here? Or is he going to pass it back? He passes it back. Goes to Fernandez. who tries to go over the top. But their fella clears it. And now it's Gurdjic with the ball. He's got a man out wide. Galoy, who goes forward. Hearings heads away. Goes to G-Sing. And what is he going to do? Can we get his ball back? No, we can't. Gian is in behind our defence. But thankfully, our def Oh my gosh. What was that from the keeper? What the bleeping hell was that? Sandy Stingen is very unlucky there. Let's have a look at this on the replay. Gian got in and initially I thought we'd done well. But then Singh just panicked and tried to hoof it first time. He's hit it into our man and it's gone into the back of the net. Okay, 25 minutes just about left. We've made two changes. We've gone two up top. It's Adam Marriott coming on for Mohamed Larby. And Diego Carlos is being replaced by Serge Kevin. And we're going to go for a more, uh, yeah, more direct passing. And we're going to go shoot on sight. See what that does. And you know what as well? Go for higher line of engagement. Come on, a draw. I would love a draw. A minute after those subs have been made, we've got a corner ball. It's Gurdjic, the defender, to take it. He whips it in. It gets headed away. And Chavez hoofs it into row double D. Just under 20 minutes remaining. It's Goss with the ball. He's going to take this free kick. He plays it. And we win it back, but we just cannot keep hold of the ball. Hadar to sing. He gets in between our defence there way too easily. Goes for the shot and thankfully Amrinder Singh makes the save. Well, well, well. That is a very disappointing result. A very disappointing performance. We've lost the game 1-0. Gurati have had 17 shots to our 11 11 on target, they've had 2 out of 5. We've had more clear-cut chances, 2 to their 1, but we couldn't do anything with either of them. And we did have a little bit more possession, but there is a lot, a lot of work to do with this team. And I'm going to go unlucky, boys. Try and keep the morale up. And yep, most of them are relaxed and they're motivated. And so... We are ninth in the league, 11 games played, only the 9 points accumulated. Surely we're not going to be in a relegation battle. You would hope not, wouldn't you? And so, let's see when we're going to come back for the next episode. Uh, we are going to come back in January. There's only two games. There's only two games every month now. So I think... That's what we'll do. We will come back for both the games in January. And then it will be February's games, March's, April's and May's. I think that sounds good. And so, that is where we are going to leave it for today, guys. If you've enjoyed that video, please pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Every like really, really does help the channel out with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. Subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. There's the Kings Lynn series, which will be back tomorrow. And then after that, on Wednesday, it's the return at last of my Real Madrid Classic League series on Pro Evo 2020. 
So we've got a lot of good stuff going on uh, on the channel. And so, yep, guys, thank you very, very much for watching. Check out the Passion for FM lads as well. And the Passion for FM website, Discord, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. All the information is, you've guessed it, down below. So check all that good stuff out. And yep, I shall see you tomorrow for some walks to the Prem action. See you later.